welcome back to Honest Straightforward Reviews. In today's video, I've got a very quick tutorial on how to make a USB stick that you can use to clean install or if your Mac is corrupted, to do a clean install of Mac OS. I've seen a lot of tutorials. They are quite misleading. They have like a hundred terminal commands or they'll have something like asking you to download this software. You have got nothing like that to do. All you have to do is go to this Apple provided support link, which I'll link in the comments below as well. And all you have to do is you have to look at this, how to create one, okay? Don't worry about anything else. You can download the Mac OS installer from App Store or your web browser. So you can go to App Store, for example, and you can just make sure you've downloaded it. Mac OS, for example, Ventura. I'm on Ventura now. So you go here, view it, and then click Get. This will start downloading into your apps folder, okay, where your apps are here. It'll start downloading in there and it'll keep it there. Once you have finished downloading it, what I want you to do is go into terminal, open it, okay. After opening it, all you have to do is, don't worry about all this jargony stuff here. All you do is find out which OS you're installing. So example, we're doing Ventura. If you're doing Sonoma, you need to select Sonoma. And now you need to make sure is th this is a long, if you look at it, it's quite long, okay, to copy all of it. So what you do is you grab it from here, drag it all the way to the end, con command C, they'll copy it, then command V and you'll paste it. Now, do not en press enter as of yet. All you have to do is select the volume where you will be putting it in. So the USB drive. So if I plug a USB drive in and the USB drive's name is, let's say, photos, okay? So you'll need to go in here, delete my volume and replace it with the word photos. Okay, so whatever your USB drive is called. And for keeping it simple, don't have spaces in there, it'll confuse you, okay? If you're uh, my hard drive or something like that, my with a space then hard drive, don't have that, just have something simple, even something like ABC, you can have that, you know, and just click enter. What that'll do is it'll first ask you yes or no, would you like it to continue? It'll ask you for a password as well. I think first it'll ask you for a password. You punch in your password and after that, all you have to do is click yes if you want that USB drive to be formatted. Now, if you're new at this, formatting the USB drive would get rid of all your information on, on there. So make sure that you are happy with that. So if you're formatting it, you will lose everything on there. So make sure you've got nothing on there that is valuable and you need to use it. So just get rid of it. And all you have to do afterwards is watch it erase the hard drive and then it'll start copying it and depending on your usb drive it can take up to half an hour to do all of that or even more if it's slower so once it's done that you'll have the usb drive once you've had have the usb drive you just need to go shut your computer down press and if it's a m1 mac hold the power key and it'll give you the options to boot from the USB drive and you can just format the hard drive and install it from there. And if you need a full guide, please do comment below. I'm more than happy to make a full step-by-step -step guide on how to do this, but I just wanted to make a quick one and just to show you guys that you don't need to waste your time with all these dodgy websites out there trying to get your information by installing apps you will be not only purchasing them if they're free they're going to dig into your computer and get a lot it's extract a lot of your information from there but in essence if you don't have to do that why should you need to install a software that you're not going to need the software is going to bog you down slow your computer down easy peasy you don't need to do anything you just need this these commands here it goes all the way back to El Capitan you know and you can use this installer and it actually tells you here as well so if you've got an apple silicon you do follow this if you've got any other mac you just follow that it's very easy i would suggest to open this on your phone and start hammering 
your computer and get it running nice and clean all right guys thank you for watching it to the end i really appreciate it i hope you have a great day take good care bye bye Thank mm -hmm. you.